Most of you are familiar with Atlassian and Atlassian products and maybe using Jira or some other ones. And I'm going to focus on service desk, but I want to kind of start with our mission statement. Uh, I love this mission statement. In fact, one of the reasons why I joined was the, what we're able to do around teams. It really caught my attention this year when I was looking at Atlassian, especially for IT teams, you know, 15 years in the industry, working with from very small IT teams to large enterprises, you see a variations of challenges and oftentimes there's very amazing folks working in those organizations. Sometimes they don't get the credit. And, you know, think about what an IT team goes through, the upgrades and some of the things that they do to, just to keep those services up and running at their optimum. They're doing some pretty amazing things. And it's, you know, Atlassian's folks on how can we take the, that team and their potential and fully unleash it to where they can accomplish even greater things. We have over 55,000 customers, and these are real actual customers, larger, you know, um, a 10 or more teams using the products around the world today for many different things from software development to IT support, collaborating. And I'm going to be talking about some of those other products, but I will focus primarily in on Jira Service Desk and the use case of IT teams. Now, if you think about the products we have from Jira to Confluence to HipChat to the development tools, they focus on three things. That is, we, we create tools that take for teams and orga help them better organize, discuss, discuss and collaborate, and be able to complete, um, complete work. And now, when we focus in just on the IT teams today, you think about your IT team and what's the most recent challenges they face. It's probably coming from two perspectives. And I want to just kind of focus on some of the trends in the industry. And then we'll, we'll look at um, Jira Service Desk a little more closely in a few minutes. But I want to just, what's going on in the industry? Because we watch very closely. What are teams facing today? What are the challenges? What's coming for them? And how can we best equip them to be able to deal with that? Now, one side is the business. You think about this, um, businesses that are in transformation today. They're adopting new digital strategies for new services they want to deploy, whether it's directly to their bottom line and the services they deliver to their customers, or it's more internal. They're, they, they're looking for innovative ways, and they're looking towards IT. And so IT is on the hook for being much more innovative, and yet oftentimes their budgets don't increase. They don't get a lot more time. So they're feeling a lot of pressure from that perspective perspective and how can they better align with the business teams that they support. On the other side of that are the development teams. You probably have development teams internally that are maybe full-on software teams writing software that you deliver to your customers or some you know, internal projects that support your infrastructure and your services. And oftentimes these teams work in different tools, different processes, and they are not aligned because of the silos that exist between them. And so oftentimes it's, we ask, how is it that we can better align and bring down the barriers between them? Now, one of the things that we're very aware of is that IT is concerned, and this comes directly out of the HDI study. If you haven't seen this one, I believe we have the infograph on our website. If you just Google for the HDI service management uh, study from 2014, you'll see some really good insights in there. And I think you'll probably relate to these. And IT teams around the globe are concerned about the um, the services they deliver to their organization. They're feeling that pressure. And 38% of their spending is now moving outside of IT. Why is that? Well, because of the fact that you know, SaaS solutions, cloud-based solutions, it's easy for HR, facilities, finance to purchase their own technology and be able to host and run it. And yet they still look to IT to be able to support that. So IT needs to be much more um, agile, uh, adaptive to these needs. In fact, there's another trend that I don't have slides in here today. It's what we call two-speed IT, where IT needs to take on two modes of operation, one for standard, keep the lights on, keep the infrastructure running at the optimum, but being able to take away a portion of the team and work on innovative uh, ideas and being able to innovate that drive towards better services that they deliver. The other part of this study looked at um, First of all, my slides here, come on now. There we go. 91% of their users they support prefer self-service. Why is that consumerization of technology is driving this? They're used to finding answers very quickly from their mobile devices, from you know a wiki online they can search for and find those answers. And so they want an easy, fast way to be able to ask for service or find answers. The other part of this is that the fact that they want a better customer experience. They find that with, you think about Amazon today, they've refined that in the way that someone can come in and find what they're looking for, purchase it, get information, answers about what the item is, reviews and all that. And it's a, you know, a fairly, they've kind of set a standard for that customer experience. And in their own personal life, they look back to their organizations, their companies they work for, they, they're expecting the same thing. 
and IT wants to be able to deliver that as well without spending hours to deliver it. And the other part of this is they want to move first call resolution closer to tier one of their support organization, both through knowledge, being make, making the knowledge um, more readily available both to the end users as well as the support teams, so we can reduce those escalations. So these are just some of the highlights we're very familiar with. And, and as we look at features we put in Jira Service Desk, we're finding out what can we make it much, how can we make it much easier for IT teams to deliver on this? You know, the other part of this I talked about, not only towards the business side of that, and that is IT and dev teams working. As I said, there are often times there's a wall, there's a barrier because of process, because of technology, and they're not easily aligned. You know, if you haven't read um, a great report, both from 2014 and 2015, is Puppet Lab's State of DevOps report. Excellent insights. If you have operations teams that are supporting teams that have uh, adopted agile methods, they're delivering, you know, software on a fairly regular basis, you know, in their uh, maybe two, three week sprint, and they're releasing on a more regular basis. The, the challenge for IT is how do they take their current processes and align to better support those dev teams? And that report there gives you a lot of really good high-level uh, insights. What I'm going to talk about today is where we can take the technology to where the technology doesn't get in the way, and you can bring these teams onto the same page. And that's what it's all about with your service desk. Because they are on one platform, we're able to bring them together to better deliver end-to-end -end IT service management. It's service management is very uh, easy to implement and use and adapt to changing uh, needs and agile. And I use the agile in a small a term, in meaning that it's very adaptable uh, to the needs of the business and teams they support. Now, something that happened this last year in October, it was really exciting. For those using JIRA, you may have already looked at this, but I just want to make everyone familiar that we went through a major release of JIRA in JIRA 7. And what they did was they looked at the way our customers are using our product. We are very close to the feedback of our customers, and we're always looking for ways that we can obviously innovate and provide even even better experience and um, solution for them. And what we did in the release of JIRA 7 is we separated into three products. We now have three products, one for Jira software. You know, those are used to Jira Agile and all the add-ons for that. This is a purpose-built experience for software teams. And Service Desk, which used to be an add-on, a plug-in, is now its own separate, standalone Service Desk product for IT service management on the Jira platform. And we also have Jira Core for business teams that need to take their own processes and automate them and manage. And I'll reference some of that later on, but today we're going to focus in on Jira Service Desk and the great features in this that IT teams love. But let me go ahead and move forward and just kind of talk about the features. What, what was so compelling for the Daily Telegraph as well as what we see for other customer examples I'll share a little bit later on, and that is that they can take a Service Desk experience and take and put that around what the team needs. It's, it is purpose-built towards the needs of IT and service management teams. And that's what I want to highlight. Now, before I do that, it takes a very different approach, a little bit of a paradigm shift. And I want you to understand in the way that we're able to do this. You're probably used to fairly large IT service management solutions. We have modules for different capability. You know, and I, I only pulled a few of those in here in the example. I'm focusing on these modules today. Um, so you think about the way that these you know, incidents are created. They go into one area. I sign out to support groups, and we work out of one area. And they do have integrations to share the data. But at the end of the day, you think about the teams that need to work together, especially if it, these are teams out here outside. Maybe they're in JIRA software or JIRA, and they're working on issues, and you need to link them back. You, uh, you, know, you may have an integration, you may not have an integration, so that's very challenging. So how can we bring these teams closer together and give them something that really fits for them? And that's where JIRA Service Desk... It, 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 you know, it flattens the playing field here in the fact that we give the ability to create a project. A project is just a container that I can use for like the desktop support here. I have a project for them where they're handling service requests and incidents, and they're focused on supporting the users that are either creating self-service requests or calling them, however you're you know, taking in those requests, and they're in an environment that is purpose-built for them. They're more uh, effective because they have SLAs. They have the, the, you know, the requests sorted out in queues that make sense to them. Same for the app support team and the server team. And you can have many different projects in here around these teams. They have full visibility of all these across, requests across these projects because it's on JIRA at the end of the day. We're able to link and see all of this. There is no integration because it's all one platform. 
So I just want you to keep this in mind as we talk about these features. And now I'm going to look at why do IT teams love your service desk? One, it's self-service. Self-service is so fast and easy to deploy and expand across the organization. And it's simple and easy for users to come. They come in and make requests and ask for help. They love it because it's streamlined. It's easy to find. And it's just like you know Google. You go in, you search for what you need. You fill out the request. It's simple. And oftentimes, because of the integrated knowledge, you may find answers to your questions before you even have to submit a request. The other part about Jira Service Desk that customers love is that their workflows are the ones that are going to drive the support process. Whether you are an ITIL organization or you're on your path you know, in adopting ITIL, we give you a starting point. You take your workflows fast and easy to get them in, in place, and you're off and running. And you can easily adapt them over time. That's one customer just told me recently of how, as their change management process has evolved, they can easily adopt that and doesn't have to spend hours and hours of development to make those changes. We, the bottom line for these teams is we streamline ticket management because we're able to place them in their projects that make sense, and the teams can collaborate across these requests. For myself as a consultant of years of ITSM, SLAs can be very time-consuming to stand up, uh, and oftentimes it's very difficult to measure across all of the requests. And so we make it very easy for customers to stand up SLAs and get the reporting they need out of it. The last thing I'll highlight here is automation. We, we believe in making it easy, taking these tasks that are very repetitive within the support process and automate them and streamline that process. And so we're going to talk about all of these features, and I'm going to go through a demo. So first of all, for the end user, being able to deploy one request portal that you have all of these service desk projects for different teams available for different types of requests. So that means the user needs to know one location to go in the organization. They can quickly start out with a search. What is it that I'm looking for? And find that immediately and get to either the answers and knowledge or open up a request. One of the things that we've added, just we actually announced, we're getting ready to release, we announced at our conference, is something called Smart Grid Technology. And what it does over time is analytics that we learn based on their searching. And so if someone's looking for Wi-Fi and they're getting this type of request, we're going to be able to pair that up. So the next time someone comes back, we'll be able to give them the best recommendation. So it actually learns over time based on the searching of the users. So this is in the help center in the IT service desk. I can see common requests, or I can start to search for uh, other solutions. And once I find what I want, I can go ahead and open it up. The other part about the self-service is we make it simple. We give them the uh, questions we need to get the request process started. Now, that means the support team can easily interact back with them because it is very collaborative focused, but I have the questions I need for them to start this request for new hardware. The other part of this is Confluence. Some of you probably use Confluence today. It's a way that teams can take knowledge, collaborate, and organize. And in the case of Service Desk, we can surface that as a knowledge base for these Service Desks. That means if someone is looking for, in this case, a Wi-Fi, we can provide recommendations that may very well actually deflect service requests. And it's both done through the Help Center as well as while they're filling out the request, they will see recommendations on the right hand as well. It's probably the fastest knowledge base that I have seen in deploying. Uh, from my days of ITSM consulting, oftentimes knowledge is left for a later deployment. Why is that? Because it's, it's just very difficult. It's challenging. This is integrated out of the, the box. And on day one, every customer I've talked to, they have knowledge up and running because they have their Confluence you know, instance. They're just surfacing that as a part of the service desk that they're deploying. And I'll show that in the example when we go through the demo in a minute. Now let's talk about what is it like for IT teams. Well, we, we streamline the IT support. We're in this project for the IT help desk. We see the requests that I care most about. These queues are what we call, and this is simply, it's a search. It's using the uh, Jira search language. It's ordering these requests in an you know, appropriate groupings that make the most sense to the team. And the team can change these, or the end user can change these to best fit their support needs. The other thing about the queues is they're real time. As requests come in, they're updating, and it's in this nice, you know, streamlined web UI. And that's the other thing about Jira 7. They'll find a common experience across all three of the products. So if I was in Jira software and I switch over to Service Desk, I'm going to find a common navigation look and feel 
but I, it's purpose built around. I have my queues, I see my customers, I have my reports, and, and so on, as well as the project shortcuts, which can, can be customized and tailored very easily in each project. So we talked about the queues and also project shortcuts, and I'll show you that in the demo in a second.